Hello, today I will be reviewing the Lenovo Legion Y520. As you can see from a very quick glance, this is a great looking computer. I had a little bit of concern. I've got a 17 inch laptop that I currently run on and this being a 15 inch, I was worried that uh, the size was going to be an issue, but what it lacks in size, it makes up for with portability. My 17 inch laptop is very heavy as most 17 inch laptops are very heavy. This 15 inch is very light. Uh, it is very easy to move. It is very easy to just pick up and go. Um, and my 17 inch just does not have that, that capability. 15 inch still gives you plenty of real estate on your desktop and gives you the ability to read it uh, and interact with it while not compromising the weight. Uh, this does have an i5 processor. Uh, what impressed me about the i5 processor, I, again, I have a, my, my 17 inch tablet has an i7 processor. I literally felt that there is no difference between my i7 and my i5, and I'll talk a little bit more about the numbers that back that up. But this does run Windows 10 Home. It comes equipped with that. There's a couple of key features that uh, that Lenovo installs with their computer that I would like to introduce you to as well. Lenovo does a great job of packaging everything in easy to find locations, especially with the new Windows 10 release. Uh, I've heard from a lot of users that the controls are a lot harder to find than they used to be. I haven't necessarily found that myself, but Lenovo does a great job of focusing all of that there's a Lenovo settings application that comes pre-installed on your Lenovo, which easily uh, lets you access all the settings that you would want to get to. For example, if you go to your power settings, this is where you set up your sleep options. It's where you can tell your computer what to do when you hit your power buttons. Uh, it's, it's a great place to find all of your settings for power and sleep mode. Your display obviously is right here, which lets you quickly and easily uh, set up all of your display resolutions. If you're going with multiple displays, uh, if you're connecting a wireless, any of the options that the display settings have. And again, for Windows 10 users, this isn't really anything new other than the fact that it's so nicely organized here. Uh, your input is your next option. Again, this is nothing uh, new to Windows users, but the organization uh, the ability to find the features that you're looking for makes it really nice. Uh, one feature in particular that uh, many laptop users I know are uh, back and forth on is the touchpad. Uh, the Lenovo settings option input settings lets you quickly and easily disable your touch screen if you want to. I'm going to leave mine enabled for the time being because I've been using it uh, for gaming. Believe it or not, I'm actually using a touchpad for gaming. And uh, this does allow for the keyboard backlights. Uh, one of the things that I noticed when I first turned my computer on is they said the keyboard was backlit. Uh, and if I'll turn this off for a moment. Um, you can tell that the keyboards are or the, the keys are red. But as soon as I turned off the light, I said, wait a minute, that's not lit up. And yeah, there's actually the setting on the input that lets you backlight your keyboard or not. Another one of the features of the Lenovo settings is where you can adjust your sound to the focus that you're interested in, whether you want to listen to music or whether you're using it for gaming or for movies. Uh, you can also configure your microphone and you can set that up for different uh, functionality. For example, voice recognition, multiple voices or only my voice. You can also go and configure your camera I'll be honest, I don't generally use my camera very much, but uh, you can also change your display uh, and your brightness control. One of the other really nice features I'd like to show you is the Lenovo Nerve Sense. Uh, this is where you can go in if you're uh, overclocking your CPU a bit and you need some cooling. You can turn on what they call extreme cooling. It turns your fans up a bit. It allows you to prioritize your network. And one of the features that uh, I really 
didn't think I would be using but have found a great use for is the prevent mistaken input. Uh, what that does is it deactivates all of the Windows hotkeys so that while you're playing, if rather than hitting control, you accidentally hit the Windows button, uh, your Windows does not open up. It lets you play your games without being uh, bombarded with uh, wrong keystrokes. One of the other nice features that you could talk that I should talk about here is right here on your keyboard is a little square with a video icon on it. What that allows you to do is while you're gaming, if you want to show something off to your family and friends, you just push this magic happy button. It automatically records your videos. It stores them here in your discover area and lets you easily uh, share them, send them, whatever you want to do. Uh, right from a nerve sense. So I thought it would be fun to run a couple of numbers. Uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor video game, but it does have a feature that lets you benchmark your computer. So I went ahead and I benchmarked uh, my Lenovo Legion Y520. I also have a Lenovo Idea Center with an i7-6700 CPU processor with 16 gig of RAM and my Alienware 17 inch uh, 7700HQ CPU running 8 gig of RAM. Now the thing to keep in mind is both the Idea Center and the Alienware are i7 processors and they are considerably more expensive. What I was thrilled to find out is my Idea Center clocked it at an average frame rate of 104.83 frames per second. My Alienware came in at 107.14 average frame per second. And this i5 computer came in at 106, so slightly, ever so slightly less than my Alienware and just slightly more than my idea center so for an i5 this thing flies and it really does show uh, when you when you bring up your games it is seamless it is quick it is uh, pretty the sound center uh, if you can uh, if you can tell in my video here the uh, speakers on both sides gives you fantastic surround sound experience with a nice big screen like that on your laptop you and the lightness of the laptop, you really have the portability and the ability to enjoy your gaming wherever you need to go. Another feature that Lenovo sends or pre-installs on your computer is the Lenovo Companion. This is where you can go to see your warranty status, to get your system updates, uh, any support that you might need. And one of the features that more and more brands are going with, I first experienced this with uh, Dell, uh, uh, I forgot what Dell's support is, but Dell has their own support system, it's not important. But here you can run a very nice and very efficient uh, system health check. And when you do that, it goes through and it runs, I'm not gonna bore you with the whole thing, but it will scan your entire computer let you know uh, if you have any issues that it can find both on your computer, on your hard drive, on your memory, uh, and if you have any updates, all of these are nice and easy to find uh, right here on your uh, on the Lenovo Companion application pre-installed. Now as you can see I went ahead and installed Steam on here. I had no problems whatsoever installing Steam. Works great. Uh, I downloaded Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor and Portal 2, and I have, as I mentioned, played both of those games. They are seamless and very pretty on this 15-inch. The frames per second are spectacular, and I have almost no complaints. The only complaint that I really have, and it's an exceedingly minor one, the power cord uh, looks, feels, and fits into a USB port. So. <laughs> Just be careful when you're plugging it in. Uh, the other day, after I was done with a evening of gaming uh, in the dark, I, I plugged it into a USB port. It didn't hurt the computer, but it also didn't charge my computer. Um, other than that, I am exceedingly thrilled with this computer. It's fast, it's efficient, it's light, uh, and it 
works spectacularly. So uh, overall, I would give this five stars. The price is fantastic for the performance and the computer that you get. Thank you for listening.